Hello everybody, welcome to Gregory Moore TV with your main host, your man, Red Venom 10, also my little young one over there, you know, and also your cam girl, Jennifer M. Say hello to everybody. Hey guys, what's up? Well, um, tonight we're going to be focusing on 11 candles. I know you noticed that I just posted a, a video with Spirit Wind or Chi Wind. <laughs> Where I'm putting out five candles. Well, right now, basically, I'm going to be focused on 11 candles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put out five right here, one right here, and then I'm going to put out five right here. Now, I could try to put out all 11 of them at the same time, which will be very incredibly challenging. But we'll see what happens, okay? So this is one of the exercises that it can actually build up your chi or your, your telekinetic blast or whatever. So for you don't know that... Chi blast or chi wind is basically the ability to create a wind, a self-creating wind that's strong enough through the the life force of your own spirit will to put out or push or an explode an object. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using it to decompensate the fire, which basically means I'm gonna be basically creating a wind that's strong enough but weak enough to actually put out the fire. And that's only gonna be on. 11 candles okay so one of the things I do when I do that is when I'm getting ready to do that I kind of visualize it as what it is just so you know there is a regular lighter and 11 different candles some of which are lit up from the previous video and some that are not lit up because they're new they get off a fresh kind of feel to it so you know that it's actually fresh and it's not like some whatever, you know. So what I do is that when I'm lighting the candle, instead of basically just trying to use it or just doing like that, what I do is I see the fire as it is. I don't see it blowing out. Instead, I just feel it blowing out. Okay, so like, like this right here, I'll light this one right here for you to show you the difference. But well, notice, when you try to see it going out, it's not really doing much. But see, when I feel it going out, you see how the wind is a little bit stronger? But see, it's a little bit more than just feeling it going out. Because now, I have to charge myself up with enough energy or enough power to basically make it go out like this. Sorry. That was not hit. As you can see, I'll give you an example. So because of the fact that it's so close to these other candles, so I'm going to kind of do it like this. and So you can see that instead of basically just visualizing it going out and like the normal, I feel it going out and building up enough energy and enough power to basically create that feeling to execute it in the material world. So here we go. See what I'm saying? So, instead of basically just, that's a different way of doing it, instead of just doing it from basically just your mind. So, bear with me, now I'm gonna light up all 11. One that's lent that don't want to light up. There we go. And as you can see, all 11 are lit up. Now, as I told you, when I'm doing it, instead of visualizing it going out, I feel it going out. 
and then I build up enough energy or power to basically execute it in the material world. So that's how I do it. So check it. So there, I didn't charge up enough, but you can see from charging up with the feeling of putting it out, what happened on the first try. So now I'm gonna shoot for 11, since now that I'm comfortable enough that I can actually do it. <laughs> Just a little joke. Of course I'm comfortable enough to do it. But doesn't it feel good to know that I'm actually relating with you and giving you the confidence because I know a lot of times when you do practice pyro or when you practice things like this you feel disconfident well don't another thing that I do also too to get around that even if I know I can do it even though that it may appear that I may not be able to do it is basically laugh at yourself and joke with yourself don't try to be so serious about it relax and just let it flow you know if it doesn't work the first time, keep trying. Practice makes perfect. You know, we all can't do everything on the first try. Some things that we can do better than others on the first try, and some things we can't. You know, that's just what makes us unique as human beings. We're uniquely different all individuality. So, please bear with me. First time ever for some guy like me to basically do pull off something like this is 11 candles. Well, I'm gonna pull off 11 candles, hopefully. Like I said, I got 10, so let's see if I can get 11. Also, too, you want to make sure that you direct it right. Because if your aim is off, you was, that's what happens. <laughs> you miss the target. <laughs> so also, too, another thing. So when I'm feeling it all go out the way that it is, I also am focusing it so that I can hit the target. But also, too, I'm charging up with enough energy to actually be able to perform in a material world. So check it. The one in the middle, I'm just going to make it flicker. See that? made it spark up. I'll try it again. Well, anyway, that's a tale for another time. Honestly, <clears throat> here we go. Back to the topic at hand. I think I derailed myself off the course here, I'm getting a little too happy. So, here we go. there so please subscribe please do share please do add comments and questions if you have any concerns or wonderings and 
this is, once again, this is one of my techniques that I use to basically work on my TK blast, but also chi win, creating my own chi win, and basically working on pyrokinesis. Please do subscribe, and once again, bye guys.